Bigfoot, Omaha, 6'2", Bra, 166, 10, 3000. Bigfoot, Omaha, 6'2", Bra, 166, 10, Welcome back to the channel. Ronan here with another Helldivers video, and this one is Things the Game Doesn't Tell You. First things first, let's go to your options menu. So you have Remember Aim Mode, which will remember per weapon. Um, you can set that. Remember Weapon Function, which will keep your uh, rate of fire and all that. Um, and Switch Weapon Pickup, uh, that's obvious. And then Dynamic Aim Mode is Tap to bring up first person and Hold to zoom. In your display settings, I set the camera shake strength to off. Uh, that's just the easiest for me. Um, you don't really need to do anything else with this one. Next, in your mouse and keyboard, uh, mouse smoothing and mouse acceleration. I've heard the best way for this is to set your mouse smoothing to off to make your uh, aiming a little bit easier. And that's personal preference, but I would suggest that. Don't forget to hit tab to save your settings. Next, we're going to go to change bindings. Uh, here, there's a lot of options um, that you can set things up. And they don't tell you uh, in the main tutorial what all the controls are. So your stratagems, here is where it gets a little dicey. I set mine to my arrow keys instead of the WASD keys because this makes it easier. You can enter your stratagem code while running. Under combat, you can set any of your uh, defaults to whatever you like that'll help you. I left most of mine in default because it's easier for me. The big one of note is switch camera side. Keep that in mind. It will come up later. All right, next up is stratagems. Let's talk about this. Uh, each one has a different call-in time, number of uses, and cooldown time. Just pay attention to this. A lot of them do have unlimited, so keep that in mind that you can use it a lot. And a quick one with all the eagles, they have uses they require to be reloaded, but they are still unlimited. You just have to wait a while for them to go and reload. All right, let's load in and talk about some stuff in game. First things first, let's look at the uh, hold down the reload key and you can change your rate of zoom, your flashlight and or laser and your rate of fire using the mouse wheel and the left and right uh, mouse buttons respectively. This is for PC. I don't know on PS5. Next, you can zoom in and hit the middle mouse button to get bring up your scope. And then that second button on your mouse will change shoulders. This will come in handy uh, when you're fighting enemies. You get things in the way, uh, clutter left and right. Next, if you bring up your map, you can right click and uh, move your cursor around, mark spots, and hover over certain areas. Sometimes it'll show if there's a point of interest that you haven't yet discovered. So keep an eye on that and drop pins for your uh, squad mates to be able to track down. Next is stratagems. You can cancel by hitting the control key if you don't want to call on a particular stratagem for whatever reason. Keep an eye out for these partially buried containers. Throw a grenade at them, open them up, and get the goodies inside. Keep your eyes peeled for these yellow lighted beacons on the horizon. They're visible from pretty far away. Uh, they contain this little escape pod where you can get requisition slips, super credits, or rewards inside. Speaking of things to keep your eyes peeled for, look for the radar towers. It's a big tower with a folded up satellite dish. This is going to be a huge help to unlock everything on the map. It'll show every uh, side quest. And the hint for this, if you looked at the beginning, it'll tell you the uh, positioning of it and where it's going to be at uh, to get the signal. And you'll hear a audible uh, chirping sound when you're at the right place. A hint on this though, when you look at it, the six o'clock position for that is uh, where the dial is, where you're gonna mani manipulate it. And you can see on the map that there's little diamonds and little points that you've discovered and things you need to discover. So that'll help you out with finding things. Another uh, side objective that you definitely wanna go after is the artillery. The artillery pieces uh, here, they're big gun, pretty easy to find. And the trick to these is you want to grab the shells before you do anything because it will attract 
uh, enemies when you're um, when you get it set up. When you activate the terminal, you will have to fight off some enemies either before or shortly thereafter. And so the best key on this one is to move all of the shells um, to where the gun is and keep an eye on what the shells are. Uh, there's a few different types. You've got the, and I'll put them up on the screen here, you've got the uh, explosive, which are red, your um, napalm, which are red with the pointy kind of sabo looking tip, and then you have yellow, which are smoke, and then also the other one that's rounded tip uh, yellow is the mini nuke. So just pay attention to which one, and it matters which piece you put in first is the the order you place them into the gun is the order that they're going to be shot uh, when you call them in. Another handy trick is to sprint and tap the A, dropping and picking it up uh, like I'm doing to make it go a little bit faster. It just quickens the pace a little bit in loading. Another thing to look out for is the abandoned hell bomb. Uh, shooting these will make a big boom and you don't have a very long delay before it does. Now on to some general uh, tips and hints. Uh, for starters, the bile spewers. It'll be foggy when they're nearby. Uh, make sure that you prioritize them. And speaking of priorities, make sure that you target nests and uh, bases first before going on to the uh, other ones. Take those out and you won't have reinforcements to worry about. And improve your visibility by shooting out the lights. They're shooting at the lights. And that's it for the tips and tricks that I've got that they don't tell you about in the game. If there's more tips or more things uh, that I miss, please let me know in the comments. Um, this just barely scratches the surface, but it's just some basics. But it's also some quality of life things that might improve your gameplay and make things a little bit easier for you. And things that they really don't tell you about in the tutorial. Just generally some good kind of uh, tips and tricks. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, uh, click like, click subscribe. It really helps me out a lot as a small channel. And uh, whatever content you guys want to see, um, I'm more than happy to produce that. And I will see you guys on the next one. Happy hunting out there and for democracy.